Ontario Farm Village of Corbeil today is the focus of attention of the entire civilized world because here, in the modest home of Olivia Dion, a young farmer, quintuplet girls were born. And what's more, they're all thriving and expected to live. Dr. Defoe, the family physician, is devoting his entire time to the care of the remarkable infants whose case has broken medical records of 500 years. Miss Dion expects to be up and about shortly. And the babies, Amelia, Cecile, Annette, Yvonne, and Marie, although they weighed only two or three pounds at birth, are putting up a great fight for life. Canadian authorities have sent special nurses and equipment to Dr. Defoe's aid, and every care is being taken to save the five unusual infants. The proud father, the man with the cap, is still a bit stunned by his suddenly increased family obligations. The Dion's already have five children, ranging in ages from two to seven. He's being flooded with offers to exhibit the quintet when they're strong enough. And after consulting with a parish priest, is said to have arranged such an exhibition. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> a dialogue between our two countries at the highest level. We have discussed both the immediate and longer term prospects for Soviet Union. Состоявшийся в эти минуты обмен ратификационными грамотами начал отсчёт эпохи ядерного разоружения. The exchange a few minutes ago of the instruments of ratification means that the era of nuclear disarmament has begun. So too, Mr. General Secretary, you are aware of how important the objective, not just of arms control, but of arms reduction, has been to my own thinking and to the policy of my administration since its outset. Кое-кто утверждал, что эта идея настолько нереальна, что безответственно даже предлагать ее. And today, on this table before us, we see the fruits of hope, evidence of what candor and realism can accomplish. We have dared to hope, Mr. General Secretary, and we have been rewarded. <laughs> 